Reds honoring Pete Rose before the game, 25 years ago on this date, past Ty Cobb as the all-time hit king. Reds and Pirates and Edinson Volquez back from the minors. What a start it was in the third, facing Jose Tabata, sits him down. Then in the fifth, 10 the inning, Chris Snyder. Same story in the seventh, Pedro Alvarez down swinging. 10 strikeouts for Volquez. He retired his final 19 batters, allowed a hit in seven innings. Reds adding to their 1-0 lead in the bottom of the seventh. Scott Rowland leading off the frame with his second double on the night. He later scored on a Ramon Hernandez sack fly. Reds added one more in the inning, led 3-0 through seven. But in the eighth, it falls apart. Now 3-1 Cincinnati, two on and two out. Tabata with the infield single that scores John Bowker. It was a 3-2 game. Later in the inning, a roll dish Chapman summons to replace Nick Massett facing Neil Walker with two on, and Walker brings them both home. Andrew McCutcheon and Tabata score. It was 4-3 Pittsburgh. Walker was later erased trying to steal to end the inning. Top of nine, Chapman does recover though. He strikes out Ryan Dome to end a perfect frame and keep it a one-run game. Bottom of nine, one on and one out for Chris Heisey. Down to third, it's a fair ball into the corner. Here comes Stubbs around second. He's coming to third. There he's going to send him. He'll come around third and score. It's a tie game. Heisey brings home Stubbs. It was all knotted up at four. Bottom of ten, Joey Votto, the MVP candidate, a chance to end it. Left field going back. We're going home. Joey's done it again. Joey Votto, a walk-off home run, the first of his career, and it gives the Reds a seven-game lead in the Central. Five to four Cincinnati, second straight night, they win it in extras. Votto's 33rd home run of the year, his 101st RBI of the year, they were huge. Francisco Cordero gets his sixth win after a scoreless 10th inning on a crazy night in Cincinnati.